Hello folks, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to see what is Ansible and why we should use Ansible. If we see the definition of Ansible, Ansible is radically simple open source IT automation engine. So it is a open source and it helps us to IT automation purpose. Now what Ansible can automate? Ansible can automate configuration management. Means we can update configurations of the servers by using Ansible. So what kind of configurations? Let's take an example that we have provisioned a new VM. After VM provisioned, we need to do some of the prerequisites before handing it over to application team or database team. In those cases, we need to create some of the users, some of the packages we should install, updating the system, enabling the monitoring, enabling the backup, all these kind of activities we should do. Nothing but we are updating configurations of our system. This can be done by using Ansible. Provisioning. It means creating new resources. Ansible can help us to provisioning new resources, creating VMs, creating cloud instances, creating Docker containers or Kubernetes pods. All this can be done by using Ansible. This is already covered in my other course that is Simple DevOps Project. You can check it out. Application Deployment We can deploy applications using Ansible. Applications like JAR, WAR, EXE, any kind of applications can be deployed in the application servers using Ansible. This is also covered in my DevOps project. Next, orchestration. Orchestration means executing tasks in the sequential format. Let's take an example that I want to enable monitoring to my system. To enable monitoring, first I need to update the system, then install required packages to enable monitoring restart the system. If we assume this is the procedure, these steps has to follow in the sequential. If we change the steps, it may not work as expected. This we can call it as a orchestration. Ansible can do all this stuff. Now why we should use Ansible? Because same activities can be performed by some other tools, right? But if we take Ansible, Ansible is simple. Why it is simple? Ansible use the YAML format. YAML format is quite simple and human readable and uh, no special code skills are required because the indentation for the YAML format is just spaces and colons it is quite easy to learn then tasks executed in order whatever code we write in Ansible those activities are executed in the sequential format next it is powerful why it is powerful because we can use it as a configuration management application deployment provisioning, orchestration. Then, agentless. This is the one of the major advantage because it is going to use open SSH. You don't require additional agent and there is no additional headache to restart your agent whenever we update some configurations. And it is secure. Why? Because we are using open SSH. Apart from this, it is efficient. Because it is going to use the default agent which comes with Unix platforms that is SSH and also it is a push based mechanism nothing but your clients just sit idle your Ansible server going to push the all the changes onto target systems it consumes very less resources in the systems I mean to say you can run some applications in your Ansible system as well it is open source you don't need to procure any licenses until you need privileged services otherwise we can use it for free it is flexible why it is flexible we don't need to maintain different tools for different purposes like for application deployment one tool configuration management one tool provisioning one tool orchestration so we don't need to maintain different tools for different purposes it is a single point of tool which can do all these tasks that is the reason most of the industry use ansible Thanks for watching. In next video, we are going to see how Ansible works.